Dance, monkey, dance. <laughs> you have no idea how offensive I find that. You don't at all. So no, fine, uh, sorry. It's just one more note in HR. It's going to your dance, permit file. Monkey, it's okay. Dance. Um, so I, I haven't heard all the shows on Cairo today, so I don't know this has been done. But we've heard the news story. We talked about it. We probably will again. What went on in Issaquah, a young woman made a pretty stupid decision um, to share a really easy to see as a racist sign. Hard to see as otherwise. Um, I haven't heard her full apology on the air. So I would like to offer the opportunity for you to hear her full apology so you can hear her full words. That's what I'd like to do for Choose Your News today. If you want to hear her full apology, text Todd's story or something creative to 98973. Mike Lewis. So if there's a decline uh, in eating out, it's uh, we can blame millennials. Or if there's a decline in eating in, we can also blame millennials. If house buying is off, <laughs> we can blame millennials. If living on their parents' couch, let's blame millennials. Tinder is the decline of Western civilization. Well, you get the idea. But there is one thing, actually, the millennials statistics show that can be greatly credited for, and it seems to be a very real and a very interesting trend. Vote Mike 98973 if you want to hear it. All right. My story today, how are families made? This is a tale of heartbreak, sacrifice, pure joy. New parents, new aunts, new grandpas, anyone who has been a surrogate or even an adoptive parent, this will take you back to that exact moment when you became a family. If you want to hear that story, text Candy to 98973. There it is, Mike's story, 98973. Say, Mike, my story, Todd, 98973, Candy's story. Say, Candy, or something creative about Candy to 98973. Wait, that's not the story. Let's oh, focus. no, creative about the story. Focus on Sorry. The story. Okay, well, I apologize. Mm-hmm. Um, we have an incredible contest we get to do here, and it puts something really cool in your hands. If you know a veteran or an active duty military person, uh, we're involved with the Seattle Mariners in the Salute to Armed Forces contest. You have a chance to nominate a past or current member of our U.S. military to deliver the ceremonial game ball out onto the field at the Mariners Salute to the Armed Forces night, April 13th. For full details, contest rules, visit kyradio.com slash win. I've seen three of these. These are remarkable, and the Mariners treat these folks. It's just, it's, it's heartwarming and inspiring. So please nominate someone uh, to get into that. Next hour, of course, what one choose your news? Plus, Washington State prisoners can no longer receive used books. They can go to the library, but they can't receive used books. Why? Some chance that contraband's being involved in that, so we'll get into that. Now, get you home the right way. I heard this closure of I-90. That's not a small thing, even though it's late at night. Uh, Tracy, I know you've been covering that. I guess that's going on now? Well, no, not, not, not now. Not, not now, not now. Late not till 11 o'clock yeah. tonight. Yeah. I mean, some of the ramps are going to shut down around 8 o'clock, but I, I guess the news isn't something that Sully and I have been talking about for at least a week or so is the diverging diamond in, uh, rather road work that was supposed to happen tonight at 9 o'clock. You would see some, uh, well, changes on the Marvin Road overpass. So those have been pushed out because of of the forecasted rain this evening. So in no estimated time and when they're going to get the uh, changes in place, they need some dry weather to do so. So again, the changes that were supposed to happen on Marvin Road won't happen tonight. Driver is encountering a few slowdowns, more so on South Bend A5 from Lake City through the downtown corridor outside of the Duwamish River Curves. I'm really keeping an eye on that Tacoma Drive because it's starting to get quite slow after Highway 18 and working our way out towards the Tacoma Dome. The drive out of Lakewood's ramping up. We'll take a look at those real-time travel times coming up here at 4.03. Cairo Radio, real-time traffic. I'm Tracy Taylor. Once again, we are stepping out of the booth and taking the show to the triple door in downtown Seattle. Another very special evening with Tom and Curly, May 17th at 8 p.m. Tickets are limited. Purchase yours today at MyNorthwest.com slash events. Do you know a hometown hero that makes our community a better place to live? Cairo Radio and W. WSECU, your community credit union, are recognizing hometown heroes with a $2,000 award. Submit your nomination at MyNorthwest.com slash hero. A quick spring getaway to Victoria, B.C. on the newer, bigger Victoria Clipper Boat is such an incredible thing, it's hard to put into words. But people do. Elsie posts, Bouchard Gardens, Wowzers, hashtag girls trip, hashtag Victoria is pretty, hashtag wine. It's true, spring is a great time to visit one of the world's best cities, according to Condé Nast, with its beautiful blooms, wine tasting, afternoon tea, and more. And right now, it's also a great price, as low as $164 for Victoria Clipper round trip and one-night hotel. Guaranteed best rate. Plus, kids are half off. But that's not all. 
Spring is also the time to go gray whale watching on the San Juan Clipper. Departing from downtown Seattle, learn from an expert naturalist on board and stop over at Charming Langley on Whidbey Island from just $70 for adults. Kids have price. Book it all at clippervacations.com. Experience your Northwest. Clipper Vacations. Get on board, get away. This is Sarah. She locked her keys in the car right before heading to the stadium for the big game. Unfortunately, Sarah doesn't have AAA. Come on, come on, come on. Where's the spare key? Wait, do I even have a spare key? Okay, you know what? I'm going to break the glass. Ow. What would happen if Sarah did have AAA? A hero of the highway would arrive in a flash, wield his mighty door opener thingies, and retrieve those keys. Oh, yeah. Thanks, AAA. She'd make it to the game, lead the most epic wave of all time, and be inducted into the awesome Fan Hall of Fame, or something like that. But Sarah doesn't have AAA, so she'll spend half the game finding a ride to the stadium and watching highlights on her phone. Come on. Boo. Unleash the power of AAA. Call 800-JOIN-AAA or visit AAA.com today and save $10 off a new membership. AAA, heroes of the highway. AAA reminds you that driving distraction-free is the law. Your legacy took forward thinking. Your retirement may take reverse engineering. Considering a reverse mortgage? Call 1-833-ASK-LAURA. Laura's Home Loans. 1-833-ASK-LAURA. Mortgage Master Service Corporation, CL40445. An equal housing opportunity. It's Rachel Bell, and you know what one of the best words in the English language is? Buffet. And at the Spice Bay Buffet at Muckleshoot Casino, they are doing theme nights. Every Tuesday, they're doing an all-American buffet. You got your pot roast, your fried chicken chicken, your mac and cheese, and your meatloaf. And every Wednesday night is lobster night. Tortellini and lobster sauce, lobster and crab lasagna, lobster ceviche. Get all the latest promotions and dining specials at MuckleshootCasino.com. It's all about you at Muckleshoot Casino in Auburn, the biggest and best in the Northwest. Hi, this is Lori, owner of Guardian Roofing, inviting you to do your own quick roof inspection using our free roof diagnostic form. Find it at guardianroofing.com and save $1,000 off a new roof. Are you tired of hassling with glasses and contacts? Find out if LASIK is right for you. Join Dr. King for a free Lunch and Learn live webinar tomorrow at noon. Dr. King will teach you everything you need to know about LASIK, and everyone who watches will get $1,000 off the procedure. Dr. King is the most trusted and experienced LASIK surgeon in the Northwest, so register now for King LASIK's live webinar with Dr. King. It's tomorrow at noon. You'll save $1,000 just for watching. So go register now at kinglasik.com. That's kinglasik.com. 2020 Lifestyles is the first weight loss program to combine breakthrough gene science with one-on-one guidance from physicians, geneticists, registered dietitians, personal trainers, and licensed psychologists for a weight loss program 100% personalized for your body. It all starts with a study of your genetic blueprint, which unlocks hundreds of secrets, like how your body may metabolize fat. We'll also analyze your body chemistries to see how it reacts to different foods, so you'll know what foods work with your body and which foods you should avoid. Plus, we'll evaluate your biomarkers, hormones, and sleep quality, all major factors in successful weight loss. And we'll review your genetics to see what kind of exercise is best for your body. Unlock the science that's uniquely you with 2020 Lifestyles, actionable genetic insights, and a physician-led team who can turn those insights into a weight loss program 100% personalized for your body. Learn more at 2020lifestyles.com. It's Ace's biggest lawn and garden sale of the spring. Ace Rewards members get a $5 reward for every $25 spent on select products. So hurry in to your neighborhood Ace for great deals. Hey, it's John Curley with Rita, a fellow patient at Dental Specialties Northwest. And Rita, why did you first meet with Dr. Spore? What situation were you dealing with? My situation was repairing a problem that someone else had caused. And not everyone wanted to tackle that. He chose to tackle it. And he did a wonderful job. He made such a difference in my life. I have to say, you have a beautiful smile. Thank you. That actually was not the primary issue yeah. that I went in. That was a nice secondary benefit. Really? Yes. How does a different smile affect you? I actually smile now without thinking twice about it. They're a great team, Dr. Spore and Dr. Sweeney. They play off each other really well. I think they do. Together, it really makes for a unique experience. Absolutely. And they both have different specialties. All there under one roof. Absolutely. 
Thanks, Rita. Why don't you find out how different a dental office can be? Book your appointment now at dentalspecialtiesnorthwest.com. Dentalspecialtiesnorthwest.com. Cairo Radio, 97.3 FM, online at MyNorthwest.com and streaming on the Cairo Radio app. KIRO FM, Tacoma, Seattle. News and talk, powered by the Pacific Northwest. President Trump says he's not playing games with the border. I'm ready to close it if I have to close it. A subpoena in the House probe of White House security clearances. What we're trying to do is protect our secrets. An arrest in the murder of Nipsey Hussle. He is 29-year-old Eric Holder. This is the CBS World News Roundup Late Edition, sponsored by the Capital One Quicksilver Card. Despite warnings from economists, business and civic leaders, and fellow Republicans, the president doubled down today on his threat to close the border with Mexico. If they don't, or if we don't make a deal with Congress, the border is going to be closed, 100%. I'm Bill Rakoff on Capitol Hill. It'll be a disaster for him and disaster for the country. Senate Minority Leader Chuck Schumer says the president needs to be talked out of a shutdown. Majority Leader Mitch McConnell agrees. Closing down the border would have uh, potentially catastrophic economic impact on our country and I uh, would hope we would not be doing that sort of thing. In the end, Schumer is hopeful. My guess is that cooler heads will prevail upon the president not to do it. Bill Rakoff, CBS News, Capitol Hill. A bizarre security breach at the president's Mar-a-Lago resort in Florida on Saturday as Yu Jing Zhang, a woman carrying Chinese passports, cell phones, and computer thumb drives with malware on them, was arrested after bluffing her way past security. CBS's Chip Reed. According to court documents, approached the security gate at Mar-a-Lago and presented two Chinese passports and said she was going to the pool. Now, due to language difficulties, club security officials mistake thought she was a relative of a club member who had the same last name and allowed her onto the property. Once through another checkpoint, she told the receptionist she was there not to go to the pool, but for a Chinese-American friendship event. There was no such event. The receptionist notified a Secret Service agent that Zhang was not on the club's access list. The House Appropriations Committee has issued its first subpoena in a probe of how the White House issues security clearances. This on the heels of a whistleblower's claim that more than two dozen administration officials got their clearances despite protests from the White House Security Office. CBS's Steve Dorsey. The Democratic-led committee voted along party lines to approve the subpoena for Carl Klein, who oversaw White House security clearances for the first two years of the Trump administration. It follows allegations from a whistleblower that top White House officials reversed decisions to deny security clearances to some of President Trump's advisors. And the president does have the legal authority to extend top security clearances to anyone he wishes. On Wall Street, the Dow dropping 79 to 26,179. The blue chips breaking a three-session winning streak. Now this. Brought to you by the Capital One Venture Card. When you earn unlimited double miles on every purchase, your next trip is closer than you think. What's in your wallet? A disabled man attacked. To me, it speaks volumes of just the cowardice. That story's coming up, but first, Cairo Radio real-time traffic with Tracy Taylor. We had an earlier wreck on the southbound I-5 out near 70th in uh, closer to 5. It looks like that's been moved over to the side. Still a little bit of a distraction for drivers. They're still working the rollover crash at 157th Avenue Southeast and Three Lakes Road. Drivers are running into a little over an hour from Seattle to Everett, and that's a lot of heavy traffic outside of the U District and continuing into Mount Lake Terrace. Get a bit of a break, but you're right back into some slowing after the Boeing Freeway up and past Highway 2. Drivers is running into a lot of slowdowns outside of Kirkland, heading out to that 522 interchange and brief hesitation for those of you that are getting closer to the Bothell Everett Highway. South at 405 still slammed outside of Bellevue, heading into Newcastle. The drive continues to be quite crowded, leaving Valley Medical Center and heading out and past Emerald Downs. 18 eastbound slows as we approach Auburn Way. Westbound as we get closer to the I-5 interchange. It continues to be a little on the heavier side. Southbound on I-5 outside of Lakewood. Again, drivers running into a few more breaks lights after joint base Lewis McCord and continuing out towards Stillicum DuPont Road. Traffic brought to you by Fred Meyer. Head to Fred Meyer for Fuchsia Saturday on April 6th from 7 a.m. to 4 p.m. You can get any plant you buy potted with free premium black gold potting mix at Fred Meyer. Cairo Radio Real-Time Traffic. I'm Tracy Taylor. Now from the Cairo Radio Newsroom and streaming on the Cairo Radio app. 
Seattle police are searching for the person who hit a developmentally disabled man with a baseball bat. It doesn't make any sense. Why attack someone from behind? You know, I mean, are you that callous? Relatives tell Kyber 7 TV that the 61-year-old man was waiting at a bus stop on Rainier Avenue last week when the attack happened. He's still at Harborview being treated for traumatic brain injury. Police are searching for the crooks who've hit several South Sound businesses, including Eclipse Custom Tattoo. They didn't just take stuff. They took my livelihood away. Like, I, I can't work right now because I, I don't have a power supply or machines. Hey, Smith tells Cairo 7 TV the burglar stole $10,000 worth of equipment and ransacked her shop. Prepping for disaster, the Renton Municipal Airport shut down today for a major emergency drill, and Cairo 7 TV's Ranji Sinha was there. The Renton Airport in Tower 616 West Perimeter Road for an alert 3. It's just a drill, not a real emergency, but volunteers made it feel real, from the injuries to a severely damaged plane. Plane crash there, plane crash there. It's meant to give responders from Renton's Fire Department, Port of Seattle, and Boeing Fire Department a chance to deal with an emergency at Renton Municipal Airport. Large international airports run drills like this every three years. A spokesperson said Renton chose to do a close imitation. Responders are going to be rated on their performance during the three-day training event. SeaTac Airport's growing again with three new international flights added in just the last couple of days. We're growing internationally and Seattle and the region are becoming an important place on earth in terms of business travel as well. Port of Seattle Commissioner Peter Steinberg says SeaTac is building a new international arrivals facility. Seahawks quarterback Russell Wilson is giving the team an April 15th deadline to come up with a new deal, according to the Seattle Times. Recently on The Tonight Show, Wilson addressed rumors that his next contract might make him the highest paid quarterback ever. Does that make you feel good? Does that mean that? Cool? Well, you know, uh, it's not going to make me feel bad. I mean. Yeah. <laughs> it doesn't make me feel bad either. Wilson is one year left on his current four year deal. And now a look at your forecast. Clouds continue to increase this afternoon. Highs today will top off in the mid 60s. Showers move in tonight with lows dropping into the low 50s. I'm Cairo 7 Pinpoint Meteorologist Tiffany Sanders. It's 67 degrees in downtown Seattle. I'm Heather Bosch. From Gig Harbor to Greenwood, this is Cairo Radio 97.3 FM. News and talk powered by the Pacific Northwest. This is the Candy Mike and Todd Show on Cairo Radio 97.3 FM. 97.3 FM. So Jay Inslee of Governor Inslee was in uh, D.C. testifying about uh, what he refers to, many people refer to as climate change. And Representative Kathy McMorris Rogers had a question for him uh, about the cost of his security detail and who's going to pay for that. Uh, we'll get into that. However, this has nothing to do with us in reality. This segment of the show doesn't even belong to us. We should just stop talking and just I should just do this, just point over at Sean and just like gesture madly. Did everyone agree with you? Let's find out. Choose your news on the Candy Mike and Todd Show. I mean, everyone probably agreed with you. You make the best choices. We gave you a little taste of our stories, and you've been texting your votes. Candy Mike or Todd at 98973. That's the online training academy text line. And you are a very creative today from the 206. Todd, can we be done with this fake racism story out of Issaquah High School? Read her apology, then that's it. We're over her sign. Somebody who's done with it, I guess. Yeah. From the 360. Todd, I'm sorry. Mike, I enjoy blaming millennials for everything. <laughs> so I guess that leaves the family story with Candy. You know what? I'm going to take that pity vote. That's fine. I'll take it. From the 206, me and the landscaping crew listen to Cairo all day. We vote Mike today. So I don't know how many people are on the landscaping crew. Crew, so he I should have specified. That could have, back, could so, have been Mike's I mean, victory. 150 I don't people on the crew. I don't want to mess up anybody's <laughs> vote totals. As speaking of the Choose Your News scoreboard, currently Todd is at 18. Mike is at 13. I am at 14. And we do have a winner today. I'm the winner and you're the loser. So I can learn how to lose. <laughs> loser. Me. Now watch that landscaping crew comes back and it's like, hey, it's 20 of us. They all go to Mike. It's all over. All right. So my story today on Choose Your News, uh, how are families made? This is a tale of heartbreak, sacrifice, pure joy. New parents, new aunts, uncles, grandpas, anyone who has been a surrogate or an adoptive parent, this will take you back to that exact moment when you felt like I'm part of a family now. So Matthew's family wanted to add a baby more than anything, and their path led them to researching adoption. 
and very expensive surrogacy options. And during that stressful time, Matthew's mom, Cecile, asked, why can't I carry the baby? And that's when Matthew made a terrible, terrible mistake. He said, Mom, you're 61. You're too old. Ooh, don't say that to Mom. I said, I would love to be your carrier, gestational carrier. I said, I love being pregnant. Of course, they laughed because they're thinking you're menopausal. But doctors said the 61-year-old grandmother was a perfect candidate to be a surrogate through IVF. I looked at my husband and I'm like, well, I guess we're going for a ride. On Monday, she gave birth to Uma Louise Doherty Elledge. Stay awake. The room disappeared, and it was just me and her, and I just like felt my heart just open, and I just knew in that moment that it was all going to be great because I loved her so deeply. No, I the, 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 I just have to break in. The sperm came from... Uh, Dad. Wait, but that's not the son of the lady. Well, yeah. Oh, okay. Because I'm getting a I'm little not freaked done. out. Listen, listen, right. to, listen to the family tree. You'll love okay. it. Okay. NBC reports little Uma is keeping everyone up every three hours, eating like a champ, according to Dad. I remember those days. Uh, and when she gets older, Matthew, Dad, he says he's going to explain the whole story. Auntie Lee gave the seed of life. Grandma provided the loving garden for her to bloom. Mm-hmm. It's so sweet. That is adorable. Uh Eggs came from the ants. Sperm mm. came from dad. Grandma was a wound to rent, if you will. Mm. An, an incubator. Yeah, an incubator. Mm. That's amazing. She's 61. She was healthy. She was capable of doing it. That is the whole family project coming. I can't get my family to pick out one restaurant to have dinner at. Mm. That is an amazing story to me. Isn't that amazing? Yeah, I don't know enough about the science. <laughs> Is it what? I think I think you could say that every day, Todd. What are yeah, you talking about? I don't about? know enough about the science. Are you poo pooing this whole deal? No, I just don't know enough about the science. I'm concerned. Here's the there's what, no, what are your it's a womb to rent. I, I just wonder if there could be any genetic side effects of that. No, what, what would the genetic side effects be? Well, it's it, sh- that's her. The, you know where the genes sperm. are coming. You know where the TNA yeah. is coming yeah, from, yeah, right? So like yeah. sperm yeah. is so, here. So egg that's is here. the science of it. So Mike, everything's okay. Yeah, yes. this is the look, incubator. Look me, Michael Lewis, look me nice. and see everything's going to be okay. Yes, it's everything's fine. Everything's fine, Todd. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with it. <laughs> okay. Can I, just I mean, say- if they go to the end of the earth and they fall off, that's a problem yeah. when this baby gets raised. <laughs> wait, but at this wait, particular wait. point, the science is absolutely wait, fine. Wait, wait. There's, There's no are intermingling you of science here. Are you here. telling me the earth is flat? No. Okay. Uh, here's the thing. I just, uh, I, it is a lovely story. That is that a way. beautiful story. Well, why not just adopt? Because kids need homes. It was expensive and complicated. Okay. And that's what he said when they started talking about surrogacy. Was exp- yeah. And then mom was like, hey, I'm standing right here. Yeah. And, of course, they were joking about it like, mom, you're too old. And then that was a mistake. But the fact that she was 61, totally healthy, and the doctors gave it a green light, that's crazy to me. That's so great. Did you like being pregnant? Uh, oh, you asking me if I'm going to have another one? <laughs> no, I I'm just asking. Done. I'm asking if you would, if this is like, would you host for someone else? Maybe if it was a if it was a family member like this that wanted it so badly and it fit, I would probably do it. All right, there you go. There you go. Candy's family, uh, just text her at nine eight nine seven three. If my brother is listening, if I get text Candy's from you, brother, text right no. now. In fact, let me. Uh, nope. I'll call you later, and nope. we'll set this up because oh Candy, man, she's gonna have some kids. No. I'm wow. Out. I got yeah. mine. <laughs> well, you heard the offer. Hey, you know what? Start saying. renting out other wombs. <laughs> you were the one who made the offer. Uh, Tracy Taylor, would you mind uh, rescuing this from all of this and uh, check traffic for us, please? So I'm-